Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Facebook. It's Liz here, and welcome to my weekly um, live crochet tutorial right here on Annie's Facebook page. So we are live today. Of course, we're going to do something fun. Um, let me just say hello as my friends pop on the screen. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for being here. While I say hello to everyone, I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. And I'm going to do this whole uh, block because it's just so cute. I want to show you the whole thing. Hi, Alice. So if you can see that, it is, I'm sure you can tell, it's a little bunny. And here's this little tail, and isn't this adorable? The two little ears, and this is actually really pretty easy to do. There are a few tricky parts, but I'm going to go over the whole thing with you. But it's mainly um, post stitches, as you can see, to make this great texture. Just sort of that little bunny just pops out. And let me show you the whole. It this comes from a blanket. And I put the link in the description for uh, the whole pattern. Hi, Pamela. Uh, Jane's here. Hi, Nancy. There's my friend Ilka from Georgia. Hello. And hi, Penny. And hi, Francis. Good to see you. Beth is here from Illinois. Hi, Beth. Colleen is here. So great to see everyone. Let me show you. I just want to show you what the whole blanket looks like. Um, so you can grab the pattern. It's kind of hard to see on my computer, but... My printer is still acting up, so we're gonna to have to use my computer today. Um, but yeah, the link is in there, so if you wanna get the whole pattern, you can just grab that, but I'll show you how to make the bunnies, and then you just have to make a few of the bunnies, and you can make the center, and you put it all together. Of course, that's all in the pattern. Um, it actually doesn't take that long to make, so you might be able to just whip it up for Easter. <laughs> uh, hi, Kareen, good to see you. And Pamela's here from Michigan and April from Maryland. Hi, April, nice to see everyone. Hi, Joyce, I hope everyone's having a great week and a great start to your weekend. And there's Mazda from Queens, New York and Lisa from Georgia. Hi, everyone, Allison's here. Let me just go ahead and flip my phone. Um, so that way we can get started on this. It might take a few minutes, so just bear with me. And um, I mean, it might take a few minutes to make this. <laughs> it won't take me long to flip my phone. But keep saying hi and um, let me know where you're watching from in the comments and I'll keep reading as I crochet with you. So we're just gonna make one of the bunny blocks, of course. And here it is a little, this is what the back looks like. Hopefully the light is good enough. Let me go in a little bit. There's Judy. Hi, Judy. Pamela says, love the bunny. Francis says, Monday is my birthday. Happy birthday, Monday, Francis. So that's um, a spring birthday. And I hope you do something fun for your birthday. There's Tamara. Hi, Tamara. Good to see you again. Okay, so this is really easy, you guys. We're going to use my... Five millimeter hook, I use this one all the time. It's a 8H. And I'm gonna use some worsted weight yarn. This is this Chic Sheep. Um, it's a nice wool, but you can use any worsted that you have. This was the only one I had in white, so we're gonna, we're gonna use that, okay? And Margaret says, love the bunny. Where did you go? Love the bunny from Sparta, Tennessee. And... <laughs> Uh, hi from Cairo, New York, and Yvonne says hi from Arkansas. Chris says hi from Tacoma, Washington, and R Rafit says hi from hmm, somewhere in Canada. <laughs> and there's Diane and Tanya. Okay, you guys, so I started with a very simple chain of 20, and I did a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the way across. So we have 19 half double crochets. That's row one. So we're going to go with row two. And we're just going to start with a chain one, turn your work, and then half double crochet in the next five of those half double crochets. So the first one there. One, two, three four and five. So we're going to be doing um, post stitches front and back and we're going to be doing a popcorn stitch. So if you don't know how to do a popcorn, stick around. I'll show you how to do that. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have to double crochet in the next four half double crochets. So I'm doing a double. 
So that's yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. And I need to do four of those. So that's three and that's four. And of course, as always, just um, if you have any questions, just throw them in the chat and I'll try to hopefully see everything. I got a little, a big blob in the middle of my ball, of course. Hopefully that won't get too tangled. Um, Kendis says, hi from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi, Kendis, and Colleen is here from Tucson, Arizona. Judy from South Africa. Hi, Judy. Okay, so we did four double crochets, and then we're going to do a half double crochet. Let's just yarn over, pull through all three, and then four more double crochets. One. Two, three, and four, and we're going to end with five. We should have five half double crochets. So that's one. So remember, half double is yarn over, and then when you have those three loops on your hook, you yarn over and pull through all three. Three, four, and don't forget that last one right on the top, five. Hi, Janet. Janet from Wisconsin is here. And Delmi from Los Angeles, hello. Now that was row two, we're gonna do row three. We're gonna, a lot of these start out the same, so you just chain one. We're gonna do a lot of half double crochet in the first five. Two, three, four, and five. And then we work those post stitches in the center to do the bunny. And now we're gonna do a front post, double crochet around the post of the next four stitches. Okay, so these were the doubles that we made. So for the front post double, you're just gonna yarn over, insert your hook from the front to the back. So front to back and then back to front. So we're gonna work that double crochet around the post of that double crochet of the previous row. So front to back, and then just complete a double crochet the way you normally would. Front to back, yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. Front to back, yarn over, Pull through two and pull through two. Easy. We're gonna do four, we're gonna do a bunch of those, so keep watching if you didn't get it. So now you always have to skip those ones in the back, right? So one, two, three, four, we're gonna skip those because we really we worked them, but we just didn't work them into the top of the stitch. And then we do a half double, and then we do our post stitches again. One, two, three, and four. And then we end with five half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Four, and five, right into the top. Margarita says, saludos desde Mexico. I don't speak Spanish, Margarita, but thank you for being here. Hi, Susan. Happy Friday to you, too. <laughs> Christine from New Jersey. Hi, Christine. So if you just uh, hopped on, we're doing the cute little bunny block here. And we are on row... Let's see what row we're on. We just did row three, so now we're on row four. And we're gonna do kind of the same thing that we just did, but we're gonna do back post double crochets because we're on the wrong side of our work. So if we want all of those post stitches to stick out in the front. We have to, when we're on the back side, we have to do back post stitches. 
one, two, three, four, and five. So we're just gonna do, see this is the back, there's those post stitches that we did. So to do a back post, you're gonna do basically the same thing. So you yarn over to start your, your double crochet and then instead of going in from front to back, you go in from back to front and front to back. And you see how I'm gonna work right around that post? So you just yarn over, you've got those three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So it's just a double crochet. We're just doing it around the post. So back to front, front to back, pull through two, and pull through two. And once the post is sort of sticking out, it's really easy to see where it is and simply work around it. And then we've got that one half double crochet. One, two, three, four. We've got that one half double crochet in the center. So we work a half double crochet in there. And then four more of the back post stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then we end it with the last five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. So the rows begin and end very similarly. Three, four, and five. And I'm keeping an eye on my comments. So in case anybody has any questions, Yvonne says post stitches are super fun. Yes, they are, especially when you have a nice squishy worsted weight yarn. Um, they're, they're, they don't do great with like cotton for some reason. I like to use acrylic or wool when I do something with a lot of post stitches. So that was row four, we're on to row five, and this is where we get to do a popcorn stitch. So we're gonna start out the same, chain one, work five half double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. I just love this, <clears throat> this blanket, it's so cute for Easter. You can really see how much it looks like a little bunny. It's just too cute. Okay, so um, we did five half double crochet, then we're gonna do the front post stitches again. And we're gonna work the popcorn in the center. So one, two, three, four post stitches. And now that half double crochet that's in the center there, we are going to do a six treble popcorn stitch. So <clears throat> popcorn stitches are different than um, like puff stitches or cluster stitches. One, two, three, four in that you work each stitch separately. So we're gonna go into this half double crochet here. So because we're doing a treble, I have to do two yarn overs, and I'm just gonna work that treble right into that half double crochet. So pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Remember, you have to do it three times for a treble. And we're gonna do six of these into that same stitch to make the popcorn. And oops. Got to do two yarn overs. And remember, you're going to complete the whole treble, so you have six separate treble stitches in that same half double crochet. I think a popcorn stitch really um, makes a good texture. So if you want something to really pop out and really show off the texture, use the popcorn stitch. No, this is not a free pattern. This is, I'm just showing you part of the pattern. The whole entire pattern uh, is a blanket. It's got more features than just this block. So um, if you want to get the pattern, the link is in the description. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. We do do a free uh, block on the, be the first Friday of the month. So that'll be next week. Okay, now that I have my six treble stitches, I'm gonna take my hook out. Now I'm gonna count 
back to the beginning. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the first treble that I did right there. And I'm gonna insert my hook into that first one. And here's that little loop that I just took my hook out of, just hanging out there. So we're gonna go into there, tighten it. And then you simply pull that loop through that first loop to pull all of those trebles together. And now we've got that really just perfect tail. Okay, and then we do four more front post doubles. So just move that tail out of the way and complete the front post doubles. Uh, just... Oh, you know what I... Um... Hold on, let me fix this because this is supposed to be, I just want to make it so it's perfect. That popcorn is supposed to be two rows below, not the current row. So you see this is the current row. This is the row. The current row is the row we're working. This is one row below. This is two rows below. So let's just do that really quick. Two rows below so that tail sits in the right spot. But then you'll get to see the popcorn again. One, two, because there's only one popcorn in this pattern. Three, four, five, just put it all around the, that half double crochet. We're going around the post and six. So I did basically the same thing. I just did it in the in the half double crochet two rows below around the post of it, okay? So take your loop out. Go back to your first treble. One, two, three, six. This is my first treble, and I'm going to insert under both loops. And then grab that loop. Pull it tight, and then pull that loop like a slip stitch through the first one. Now it's sitting in the right spot, okay? So, and then we're gonna do, okay, so then we're just gonna do the post stitches, right? We're back to front post stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we've got five, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got five half double crochets. One, two, three, move my scissors, four, and five. So if you're just joining, we are working this little bunny. So this is one block of the whole entire pattern, which is an afghan that has um, a center and then these little blocks around the edges. And I'm showing you how to do the bunny. Okay, my yarn is in kind of a tangled mess, but we'll get through that. Okay, look, <laughs> doesn't that look cute? So we have the little tail. So that was row five. We are on to row six. Okay, so now row six is kind of a repeat of what we did. Chain up one, and then we're gonna do five double crochets. I mean, half double crochets, excuse me. Three, four, and five. And remember, we're on the back side of our work. So we're gonna have to do back post stitches. So we're gonna do uh, four back posts. One, right around that post. It just, it's, it's right there, easy to see. Three and four. And then we're just gonna do a half double crochet on the top of that tail that we did. So that's right there. And then more back post stitches. Just 
Just grab that post and work right around it. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and then we end with five half doubles. One, two, three, four, five. So I always count from like the end of the row to make sure I'm, I skip the right amount of stitches. That was uh, row six. Now row seven says repeat row three, and then row eight is repeat row four. So for row three and four, we're just gonna do, I have double crochet, but okay, so we're just gonna do the basic front post and back post. And if you have any questions, I'm trying to keep an eye on my chat here while I work. Corrine says, wow, you make it look super easy. Thanks, Corrine. <laughs> and Francis says, I never did a treble popcorn. It just made the perfect bunny tail, didn't it? But yeah, if you have any questions, just put them in there and I'll try to keep an eye on the chat while we work here. Four, five, but I definitely wanna to get to the twist part because that's the tricky one. But we're just gonna do two more of these rows of just kind of what we've already done. So four front posts, a half double crochet in the next half double crochet, which is right there, and then four front posts. One, I'm gonna go quick here because this is kind of a repeat of what we did. Get that post. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and turn. Now we're gonna do, ah, I've got a little mess here. Hopefully that'll untangle itself. Now this is a repeat of row four, what we did. Two, three, four, five. Now we're just doing those back post stitches. three and four it's really not too it really kind of the pattern comes together um, when you do it because you're repeating a lot of stuff so you can get through it pretty quickly once you get used to it one two three four back post stitches remember we're just repeating what we did in row four one, two, three, four, five, and then we just end with our five half double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. So far it looks pretty good. Now we're on row nine. This is the twist row, and this is the probably the trickiest part of the whole pattern. So I'm gonna go over this with you slowly. Marianne says, hi Liz, I almost missed you. I'm glad you're here, Marianne. We're doing this little um, cute little bunny block here. So we start out the same for row nine. We're just gonna do those five half double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna skip four double crochets and we're gonna skip, we're basically gonna skip everything in the center here, right? Let me zoom in a little bit. We're gonna skip, 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 skip the half double crochet and skip three more front post stitches and work a treble around this stitch. So, 
Try to keep it nice and tight because we're gonna go all the way across. So yarn over twice, and go all the way to this stitch here, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. See how it, that back just kind of loosens? I don't like when it does that, but it does that when you're skipping all of these and you have, you're having to put your hook so far away. So let's try it again and try to hold onto it. Cause I don't like how it loosens up there. Okay, so one, two, three, that's a little better. So see, I skipped and I just went, made a treble all the way over there. Now, we have to do um, a half double crochet in the center one. So that center half double crochet that we've been doing. So find that center one. You're gonna have to count to make sure you go in the right stitch. So one, two, three, four, and it should be this one right here. Just do a half double crochet in that center half double crochet and go behind your, your um, treble that you did there okay and now we're going to twist over to work into these stitches and we're going to do a front post double crochet around all four of these right so you're going to have to turn your hook to sort of twist it around and work into these stitches so just maneuver it how, however you need to one and we're going from right to left in the skipped ones two, three, and four right here. Oops. There's the fourth one. And then those other three that we skip, we're just gonna leave those skipped. And then we're gonna do, so skip all those and then just go to the last five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. So half double crochet in the last five. And five. Okay, so see how I did that? So now it looks like it's it sort of twists over like that. And then when we do the next few rows, it's gonna come more of a twist like this, okay? Right now it looks a little wonky, but it's gonna look better. So now for row 10, we're gonna do uh, we're going to do some increasing because remember we skipped some of those stitches. Not really increasing, but we're going to make up for those stitches we skipped. So we're going to do four half double crochets. Three and four. Five. And then we're going to do a back post double crochet two together around the next two, sorry, my yarn is tangled, around the next two double crochets. So, we're working around, we're working on the back side, so we have to do from the back, right? We have to do back post stitches. So here's the two. There's two post stitches right there that we need to, oh wait, I skipped one thing, okay, so. We need to do that last half double crochet because we only did four. We need to do two half double crochets in there. So do that before we work our post stitches. So we're gonna add two to make up for those ones that we skipped. Okay, so now we're into the post stitches. You can see them here and here. We have to make those into one. So I'm just gonna yarn over, grab that first post stitch, okay? Yarn over. Pull through and pull through the first two and then leave the, the last two on my hook. And then yarn over, grab the next post stitch, 
yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two. So we have three, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So we've just made two post stitches into one post stitch. And then we're gonna do a back post double crochet around the, the post of the next two double crochets. Uh, around post of next two, back post of around post of next two double crochets. Okay. So right, so we did we made two into one, and then we should have two left. So here's one. They're hard to see when you're doing this because we twisted it. So just make sure you're counting and you're grabbing the right post stitch. And that's two. And now we have to do a half double crochet into the center of the twist. So if we have one, two, three, and that's actually the fourth, this is the center of the twist right. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Right here. It's hard to see, but you're just gonna go do a half double crochet into the center of the twist. And then you have to work three back post double crochets around the treble. So now you probably can't even see the treble because it's all the way under all of these stitches. So you have to just move it and then you can sort of see it right there popping up. That's it. So you just have to move everything around to grab it. It's really hard to see but it's there because we did it, right? It's right there. So once you see that, you're gonna do five back posts, or not five, three back post double crochets around that treble. One, you're just gonna have to squish them in there. Two, and three. Two half double crochets in the next. One, two, three, four, five. One and two. And then half double crochet in the last four. One, two. Now that was really tricky, but if you if you can do that, that's the hardest part. And then we have, um, then we should have the right amount of stitches. One, two, three, four, five. I think we need to add right here so we should have six total, okay. And this yarn is really getting tangled on me. So let's see what it looks like. It looks like we did that right. You can see we kind of had to just twist everything to make it twist over like that, to make those stitches look like they're worked, you know, over there and these are worked under there, which they are. And that makes the little, like the back of the head. So I'm gonna do, um, I think two more rows, just so I can show you what it looks like once that twist isn't all kind of if this yarn would cooperate with me, which it's not. I got that center, you know how that center comes out in a big tangled mess sometimes? <laughs> okay, came in late, okay, yeah, so we're doing this little bunny. This is a really popular pattern right now, so I thought I would. it would be fun to do the little bunny. It's a cabled bunny blanket, I think it's called. Okay, so we just did row 10, and that was the trickiest row in the pattern. And we're going to do row 11 and 12, and then I'm going to let you do the rest on your own because it's basically what we've already done. So we're going to start with six half double crochets because remember we added one. One, two, three, four, 
five, and six. We did a lot of sort of <laughs> tricky moves in this pattern, I'd say. We did some twisting, we did some popcorns. We're doing front and back posts. So we got, we got a lot done here. Okay, now we're gonna do a front post double crochet around the next three. So these were the three <clears throat> back post ones that we had to get in there. So now, once we do these front post double crochets around them, that's one, that's two. They're gonna, they're gonna look more like they should. And that's the third one. They're not gonna be stuck down in there like they are. And then a half double crochet in the half double crochet, which is right here. That's the center. And then three more front post stitches. One, two, and three. Because we worked those two together, we now have three front post stitches on either side of the half double crochet instead of four like we did in the beginning. We reduced it, okay? And then we just have to do half double crochet in the last six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So of course, because we went from four half double or four post stitches to three, we have to increase our half double crochets to sit from five to six. So we keep uh, the same number of stitches. And then for the next row, we're doing basically the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're just gonna make those, we're just gonna do these as back post stitches. So one, two, and three. Oh, this yarn, come on. And then we have our half double crochet right here. And then three back post stitches. One, two, and three. And you can see when I turn it around, um, it really straightens the whole thing out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have our last six half double crochets. Three, four, five, and six. So, as you can see, let me make sure I don't have any questions. Yes, it'll be available in the future. I had a tangle center from last night. <laughs> it felt like crying. I know, isn't that the worst? And you just don't want to cut it, even though you can, but it's like, you just don't want to cut it and have to add it. I don't know why. It's probably quicker just to cut it and, and re-add it than it is to try to deal with that tangle. Pam says, I worked all day to make this. Wish I had seen this first. It makes so much more sense. Oh, I know. It's, um, it's hard to get it from, it's so much easier when you see it, it really is. Um, but I'm glad that you that you have this now so you can make all your bunnies much quicker. Um, once, Because like I said, once you get the hang of it, it's a lot easier, but it's that twist that gets really, really super tricky. So the reason I'm gonna stop here is because we did so much and basically the rest of it is what we already did. So as you can see, we did that popcorn, um, which I showed you. And then we did that first twist. Once you do a couple more stitches to straighten that out, you're gonna do another twist, which is easier because it's smaller, but it's gonna be the same exact way we did the first one. And then you just do a few um, post stitches to make the ears, and that's basically it. And then the border and um, the center of it is all, of course, in the pattern. Um, and I wanted to... Yes, it'll be on Facebook. And I want that bunny is so cute, Liz. Thanks, Fran. I wanted to let everybody know before I go, um, I just want to let you guys know that I am going to be here. Um, we're going to be adding some, some more crochet experts to the mix. So I probably won't be here every week. 
Um, I might just do once a month, but we are going to add some great people that you've seen like Ron Strong, um, Jennifer Ryan. I'm sure you've seen her. She does a lot of great live tutorials. Um, so yeah, we're just going to add some more, some more uh, crochet experts to the mix, but I will most likely be here once a month. So I just didn't want you to be like, what? you know, where are you? <laughs> I'll be here. Okay. And also, of course, as always, you can watch all of my old uh, tutorials that we have over on the Annie's Facebook page. They will be there forever as far as I can tell. <laughs> as long I guess it's up to Facebook, but they're there now. They should be there. Um, and yeah, if you want to join the group, if you don't know about the group, you can just go to Facebook and join Annie's Facebook group. And I hope you will all be here next Friday at 12 noon for another crochet tutorial. Thanks everyone. Have a great weekend.